Hey what's up Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I want to show you a cool little trick that you can use to reuse your animation controllers and keep the same functionality while swapping out animations. You can do this for specific characters or maybe something changes and you just need to swap them out at runtime and any of those situations will work. So here I've got set up a character, this Vanguard guy and a zombie. I'm going to press play and just watch them both idle for a second and then I'll show you their animation controller and I'll show you how we update this thing. So here you go, you can see them both kind of standing there, they're loosely wobbling around and if you look at the animator right here, see did I uncheck has exit time, I did perfect. All we have is an idle and then they'll go into a walk state when the speed is greater than zero. So if I set their speed up to one, they switch into a walk state, I'll do it for this guy too, right? It goes to walk. Now for the zombie that might look a little weird and the option I have, you know, I could just go in and create a separate animator. This one's playing this idol right here. So if we look, it's playing the Vanguard's idol. That's my default one. And for the zombie, I really want him to play this idol, right? I want to play the scarier zombie one. And for the walk, I want to play a, a slower you know, arms out crazy zombie. So instead of creating a whole second animator, what I can do is create an animation override. So to do that, you just, here, let me show you the steps. You right click in here, go to create, and you go to animator override controller. So you just create one of those. I've already created one for the zombie here, so I'll just delete that. But if you take a look, it has in here the animations from the original source. So the original one had an idle and a walk, so I just put in my zombie idle and zombie walk from here so it just again just dropped these right in here and now what I can do oh and don't forget the base controller right here it's set to none by default I had to select the character movement one and then put in the animation so it looks like I'll be doing that again so let's do it real quick zombie idle and zombie walk now what I can do is just select the zombie character and put in the zombie override instead of the character one and watch what happens the the state machine still works exactly the same, but the animations are swapped out, as you would expect. So now if I set the walk speed to 1, it walks like a zombie. This guy will walk how he should normally walk. And that's all there is to it. So if you like you know, doing animation stuff, this is a cool little trick. I would definitely try it out. It makes things a lot easier. You can only deal with one controller. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And thanks for watching.